It was a beautiful start to the day. Plenty of blue skies out there. And then as we fast forward throughout time, you can kind of see those dark skies starting to push back in here to the metro area. We will be tracking a good chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the rest of this afternoon into this evening. In fact, a flash flood watch is in place for the Denver metro area. Parts of the Front Range foothills, several of our burn scars, and then this is going to stretch all the way across the eastern plains until 9 o'clock tonight. These storms have a lot of water with them, so we could easily see 1 to 2 inches and a really short amount of time. We're thinking 30 to 45 minutes. So that's just too much of a good thing, right? So we're going to be keeping our eyes out on the radar, especially over the course of the next several hours. Scattered showers, thunderstorms toward the San Juans. They're cruising in with that southwesterly flow tracking off to the north and to the east. Tonight we'll be watching those scattered showers pushing through until about 10 p.m. and then partly cloudy skies take over. Temps fall into the lower 60s for us, upper 50s around the metro area, 60s out east with 40s and low 50s up into the high country. Looking at the future cast again by about 6, 7 o'clock, most of the action hopefully will be done with the Denver metro area and will be impacting the eastern side of the state. Here we are about 9 o'clock, still some pretty good showers south of I-70 and then overnight the showers remain, especially up in the mountains out to the western slope. You're going to be waking up to some scattered rain showers. For us here in Denver, it's a mix of sun and clouds as the afternoon and early evening wear on. That's when we'll get that first round. We're thinking right there about 5, 6 p.m. And then these storms will move off to the northeastern corner of Colorado. A couple potentially turning severe tomorrow right there between I-76 and I-80. This is 8 p.m. You can kind of see round two pushing into the downtown Denver metro area. And by 11 o'clock, we still We'll be tracking these showers across parts of the state. As we zoom in tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., again, a mix of the sun and clouds. As the afternoon wears on, we'll be watching those showers starting to develop up in the mountains, and then they eventually race across the metro area and off to the northeastern plains. This is about 6, 7 o'clock. Again, the showers likely to continue through late tomorrow evening. We do have a marginal threat for seeing severe storms tomorrow afternoon up and down I-25 and then points to the east and then all the way up to the north as well. Just a marginal threat. That's level one out of five, but still large hail could be a problem for us tomorrow too. Temperatures slightly below average at 85. Still pretty warm with the scattered thunderstorms pretty likely for us in the later afternoon and into the evening. We'll be in the 90s in Lamar, La Junta, and Pueblo, too. 65 in Leadville, with 60s in Steamboat over to Yampa, and about 82 in Grand Junction. Looking at the highs tomorrow around the metro area, everyone pretty much hovering in the mid to upper 80s, 60s, and low 70s for Colorado's foothills and up through the mountains. And then looking at the extended forecast, temperatures just continue to climb pretty much each and every day, and our storm chances will dwindle each and every day. We'll have another round on Wednesday. They'll be a bit more isolated on Thursday, and right now, warmer and drier. The 90 degree heat makes a comeback as we head into the weekend.